Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a fighting game scoreboard in OBS. By the end of this video, you could have something that looks similar to this. Okay, to start this off, make sure to go to this page on OBS forums. It is for the program scoreboard edit and click download now. Then you'll get this zip file, it just extract it wherever you want, and make a new folder. Title this folder whatever you want. This is where you're going to store everything. So I'm just going to call it scoreboard and I'm going to put the files in there. Now we are going to open the file and open scoreboard edit. There is an XML method, but I'm not going to be teaching that in this video. Just go ahead and click folder path and over here you'll see some ellipses. Click that and browse for your folder and then click select slash read files. Now you'll notice you can type into these areas so you'll notice I can type my name and then I can click this plus or I can also type the number in and then this would be the label like if you had a tournament title or like winners finals so I could type winners finals and then I could type the other person's name and misc could be anything else like follow me on Twitter. Once you have this how you are, you can just click update and then you'll notice this folder now has a bunch of text files. Now you can open up OBS and make a new scene. And I'm going to add a layout. This layout will be in the description. Uh, it's just one I made real quick for this video. But it would be an image file. So I have it nice laid out so I could put the title at the top and the names over here on the sides. So to add my first person's name, I would just go to add text. And let's call this P1 for player 1. And click use from text file. And then go to your folder and find P1 or player 1. And click OK. Now you'll notice my name is here. So I can just drag it down here where I wanted it to be. And then say I go back into my scoreboard edit program. I could change this to MLG Pro. And click update. And look at that, it edited it to MLG Pro. So you can also do this with player one's score. So let's call this one P1 score. And do the same thing, browse for it, and it's SCRP1 is player score. And click OK. Now you'll notice there's a one. I can just drag this down where it's supposed to go. And Here's one. Now say I want winner's finals to be at the top. I can just call this my label and do the same thing again. It's really simple actually. And now you'll notice winner's finals is at the top. Okay, so to speed this up, I can just show you what you can end up having. It's something like this. You know, say the game was really working, it would look very good. And say it went to the next round, I could reset the score and click update. I could then change the player names. Here, let's just change it to Ken and Ryu. And click update, and it's as simple as that. It takes a good bit of time for initial setup, but once you have it set up, it's very easy to have a very nice looking tournament and it's very easy to update. You know, say you're in a scenario where you only have so many people who can commentate over the stream and edit it. This makes it very easy for them to be able to do it without any knowledge of OBS or XSplit. So that's about it. Let me know if you need any help or if you have any questions about this, I'd be happy to help. Just leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.